Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's date is January 10th. And I am coming to you all with a part two on Have the Faith. I did a video last night on Have the Faith. And it's some things that I wanted to expound on. Um, some characters in the Bible that I want to expound on and some experiences that you may be going through right now and you are seeking God on trusting him on fixing that situation or just coming through for you or healing you or turning it around or making that way out of no way and all of that and I just wanted to expound with you all on some things because I feel like the message wasn't um, straightforward or I did, I wasn't relatable enough to you all. Um, so I'm coming to you all again today with a part two on have the faith and how to have the faith and give you all some examples of people in the Bible that had faith and trusted God. Um, one was Ruth. Ruth, she had, and I wrote some things down. I just saw a post um, and it stated Ruth didn't go back to what was familiar. She stepped out in faith and walked into the unknown. Okay. She had the faith. She trusted God in the direction to where he was leading her. She had the faith. Her courage brought her to her divine destiny. Don't look back, you all. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. And it's just Ruth. That's and then by her stepping into the um, unknown, that's when she met Boaz. <laughs> he met her working in the vineyard. She had the faith. And she met her Boaz. And they had a son. You know, so have the faith. Just like Job kept the faith. When he lost everything, his children, his land, his farm, his cattle, he lost everything. But what did Job do? Job kept the faith. He trusted in his God. His wife even told him to curse God and die. But he did not. And then when Job prayed for his neighbors, his friends, is when God renewed, replenished, and restored Restore Job with more than what he had before. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Because Job kept the faith. Because Job had faith. And I'm going to bring up another character in the Bible. Joseph. Huh? <laughs> Joseph was banned by his own brothers. His own brothers wanted to kill him. Do you all hear me this morning, this afternoon? Joseph's own brothers wanted to kill him. But God had a plan for Joseph. Huh? Jeremiah 29 and 11. God had a plan for Joseph, just like he has a plan and a destiny for us. He has a divine destiny for us. He has a divine assignment for us. For us, we must keep the faith, you all. When your faith is shaky, <laughs> unwavering, go to God in your secret place. Seek his face. Matthew 6 and 33. But seek thee first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You all know that is my favorite scripture. <laughs> My favorite scripture, seek thee first. When you're, like again, when your faith is wavering and shaking, when God show up and show out <laughs> in that situation where you did not see no way out, when God show up and show out in your life or show up and show out in your in your circumstance, your situation, when you're trying to figure out where that rent money is going to come from, where that mortgage money is going to come from, where that business ideal, that business endeavor is going to come from, where that degree going to come from, huh? Where you're going to get that money to pay that bill is going to come from, then out of nowhere, 
God shows up and shows out. You will get a phone call and, and from someone to say, God told me to bless you. Hallelujah. Yes. It has happened to me several times. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I thank you and I bless you right now, Father God. He will make the provisions made for you in your life. Keep the faith. Have the faith, you all. Pray to God for more faith. And I say it over and over again. If you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're going to worry, don't pray. This That hit my soul this morning when I read this. Have the faith. Keep the faith. I know it's hard sometimes. I know it may get hard. But God is sending me here today. I'm on my lunch break. Putting out this word. God brought me back on here again. Keep the faith. Have faith. This is your season. This is your time. Trust God. Whatever that dream was he gave you, that vision that he gave you, write it down. Make that vision plain, Habakkuk. Make that vision plain. Write it down on tablets. Do you hear me? Set that motion in action. Have the faith. Get out of your own way. Have the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith, you all. Have the faith. Seek God. He will do it for you. But once he continue to show up and show out in your life, that's when you're going to gain more faith. When you're going to trust him more. When you're going to rely on him more. When you're going to depend on him more. He's made so many ways out of no way. And just this past year, the miraculous healing that he performed on my niece. The doctors told her, my, my sister, when my uh, niece was young, when she was first born, that she was going to have to have a heart surgery and a lung surgery before she turned one. Okay? So last year, May, June, the doctors went in. They did a scan on her heart. And they told my sister that, yes, it has not been corrected. It had not corrected itself. And that she was going to need to come back in July to actually have the surgery done on her heart and on her lungs. And when my niece was first born, I told my sister. I told my mom and my sister. I was on the phone with them and I was praying because my sister was worried. Because my niece was premature. And I started praying. I had lost myself. And the Holy Spirit, I gained the Holy Spirit back. The Holy Spirit took over is what I'm trying to say. And when the Holy Spirit took over, and I told my sister that I saw God with a, I saw a man holding a clipboard, the doctor holding a clipboard, God, a spirit man holding a clipboard. And I saw green check marks. Check, 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 green check marks. I told my sister that. So when my niece kept come, coming up to my niece having her surgery day, my sister kept saying that, you know, uh, winter, Naomi, you know, she's going to have her surgery. And I kept saying, what surgery? And she got mad at me, you all. And she said, Mommy, how you can't remember that your niece is having surgery? I said, it's not that I'm not forgetting that my niece is going to have to have surgery. I said, but I know what my God told me. And I stood on that. And I had the faith and I believed that, my, that it was going to be all green check marks. So coming up to the surgery day, I went to go visit my niece the week before. The weekend before. And on my way to Grenada. I saw a vision of the doctors going in to perform the surgery and not doing the surgery and I just got happy all over again I had got full of joy all over again and I just started 
crying out to God and thanking him in advance for what he has shown me and trusting and believing and having the faith. That my niece was going to be healed when the doctors went in to perform their surgery. And I don't know, I remember who I told that to, but I told someone that, that I saw that vision. And lo and behold, my sister had seen the same vision. And so God said, I just need them to go in. And, and see that it was me. I did a miraculous healing on her. That it was nobody but God. That's what he said to me. So on the morning that my sister, they went to Jackson, Mississippi to, for the doctors to perform their surgery on her. I was on the phone with her the whole time. And they put up my niece. They took her to the back. I'm on the phone with my sister. And um, she got a phone call. She said, I'll call you back. I said, okay. So she called me back. She said, they get ready to start the surgery. I said, okay. And I started texting my prayer warriors and everybody that I knew or could think of to go in prayer for my niece. And, and at that moment, I told God, I said, God, I said, I know what you told me. You told me all green check marks. And I said, but if it's your will, God, and if my niece have to have this surgery done on her, only to let it be done if it's your will. I said, if it's not your will, God, do not allow them to perform this surgery on my niece. I remember like it was yesterday. This was last year in July. And I told God that. And so my sister and I was on the phone again. Then we, uh, she said, Monique, I'm going to call you back. This is the doctors again. And she called me back and the doctor said, we're done performing the surgery. Everything went well. And so I'm texting everybody, I'm letting them know the surgery went well, you know, and, and everything is good. Okay. Then my sister called me back and she said, um, she called me back and then the doctors walked up to her. We was on the phone and the doctors walked up to her and, and told her, you know, let's go back. So when she got back there, they told my sister and, um, uh, my sister's husband, that they did not have to perform the surgery. So, hallelujah, Lord God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, God, that they didn't have to perform the surgery and that um, it had corrected itself. So my sister sent out a nationwide text message, okay, saying that they didn't have to perform the surgery. So I called her. I'm like, huh? Like, you just told me that everything went well and that the surgery went well. Like, what? And that's when she told me the doctors actually came and got her and told her that they did not have to perform the surgery. And you all, we both lost it. And I was thanking God. I trusted him, you all. I had the faith. That is what faith is, knowing that God can and knowing that God will heal you, deliver you, set you free, make you whole, make you complete, make you one in him. When you become one with God, you become one with self. There's nothing you can ask him for. And if it's not in his will, it will not be done. Nothing, nothing you all. And I'm telling you all this, I wasn't even, this not even in my notes. This is not even in my notes. And God just brought this story back to me when I press play or record. And so you all, I fell to my knees and I said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. And I said, God, for you, I live and for you, I die. And you all, that has been... Different things happening. Even my son before that in May, he had a heart. Uh, he had an EKG done on his heart. And you all, and I lost it. Like, God, like, okay, what is this? What's going on? He had an abnormal EKG. And so he had to be referred out to our uh, cardiologist. And we went to church that Sunday. He had it done on that Friday. It was so, I cried so hard and so bad to where I had busted a, a blood vessel in my eye. But we went to church that Sunday. The women in my church prayed for him. The ministers in my church prayed for him. 
They prayed and they prayed. My family prayed. My mama, my daddy, my sister, my brother, everybody prayed. And then a week or two later, we went back. We uh, went to the uh, doctor's office visit, the cardiologist visit. And it was normal. You all have the faith. Keep the faith. That's it. I know it's trying times. It's hard times. I know a lot of people that have lost a lot of loved ones. Just keep the faith. Have the faith. Trust and believe you all. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Because God is God. He was the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. His promises are yea and amen, period, period. When I tell you God has brought me out of the valley, he has brought me out of the gutter, suicidal, didn't want to live anymore, didn't want to wake up anymore at the time. My kids running away. But I tell you God has turned this thing all around for me and my family, my boys, my mama and daddy was worried about me. Everybody was worried about me and my boys. But I tell you that there is a God. My friends were, were, were worried about me. You all, there is a God. He sits high. He says hi, but he looks low. He will pull you out. He will set you free. Just seek him. Pray to him. And I never intended to get on this video like this. Never. But it's a word that has to be given. It's a word that has to be delivered. And it's a word that needs to get across. It's a word. It's a word. It's a word. But God, the people in the Bible, they kept the faith that had the faith. God turned their situations around. Daniel and the lions did. These are my notes. None of what I said was in my notes. Daniels and the lions did. When they looked in, they saw four bodies. And it was only three. You all, David, when he went to go defeat Goliath, Huh? Little old David. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. But he had God. He had God on his side. He had God, you all. Esther. 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 When she prayed and fasted for three days for her people to be saved. Do you all hear me? Just, I mean, just. It's in the word. It's in the Bible. What God is no respect of person. What he did back then, he would do it again for you and me. He will, He has shown up and shown out in so many ways. In so many ways. And I'm looking at my, um, um, a gift, uh, uh, my, one of my church members gave me Philippians 4 and 13. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. He will give you the strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. He will give you the strength to keep it going, to keep it moving. You all have the faith. And if you follow me on, if you're my Facebook friend or follow me on YouTube, you will see my niece. She's getting ready to celebrate her second year birthday. Healthy, walking, talking, and full of citizens. She was crying this morning, calling my name, TT, wanted her mama to call me. You all, God will do it. He will do it. Lift your petition up to him. Have faith. And know that God can and God will. He will turn it around. He will turn it around. Keep your focus on God. Wake up with God. Go to bed with God. Go to lunch with God. Have the faith, you all. Trust and believe. And you shall receive. That's it. That's it, you all. That's it. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. Over you all. I plead the blood of Jesus. And I thank you, God. I thank you right now, oh God. I seal it with your blood, oh God. 
I seal it with your blood, oh God. No evil shall come nigh thy dwelling. And no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. He didn't say that they were not going to form. He said they were not going to prosper, you all. Have the faith. Be blessed. Shalom. Now go in love, joy, peace, and harmony. Be blessed. Shalom.